Hello everyone. Welcome back to the course of software engineering. This video is brought to you by Newton's group of institutions in association with Redefined Solutions. This is Arvind Egreddy from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, CEO of Redefined Solutions. In this video, we will discuss about class-based modeling. In our previous video, we have discussed about requirement analysis, overall objectives and philo philosophy, analysis rules of thumb, requirement modeling approaches. And we also have discussed about scenario-based modeling, UML models that supplement the use cases and data modeling concepts. Now, in this video, we will discuss about class-based modeling. So here, we will discuss about identifying the analysis classes, specifying attributes, defining operations, class responsibility, collaboration, CRC modeling, associations and dependencies and analysis package. Class-based modeling. Class-based modeling represents the objects that the system will manipulate, the operations that will be applied to the objects to affect the manipulations, relationship between the objects and the collaborations that occur between the classes that are defined. The elements of the class-based model include classes and objects, attributes, operations, class responsibility, collaborator, CRC models, collaboration diagrams and packages. Now coming to identifying analysis classes, classes are determined by underlying each noun or noun phases and entering it into a simple table. So if the class noun is required to implement a solution, then it is part of the solution space. Otherwise, a class is necessary only to describe the solution and it is part of the problem space. Analysis classes manifest themselves into one of the following ways. External entities that produce or consume the information to be used by a computer-based system. Things for example, reports, displays, letter signals that are part of the information domain for the problem. Occurrence or events, example, a property transfer or a completion of series of robot movements that occur within the context of the system operation. Roles, example, managers or engineer, salesperson, so on played by the people who interact with the system. Organizational units, that is division, group, team that are relevant to an application. Places, example, manufacturing floor or loading dock that establishes the context of the problem and the overall functions of the system. And last structures, for example, sensors or four wheeled vehicles are computers that define the class objects or related classes of the objects. We can process a number of potential classes and these uh, process, uh, potential classes are being classified in general categories. For example, home, one, home owner, his uh, role or an external entity, sensor, external entity control panel which is an external entity installation is an occurrence system is nothing but it is a thing or an object number or type non-object attributes of sensors master password telephone number things sensor event occurrence or audible alarm is an external entity and a monitoring service is an organizational unit or an external unit now coming to the specifying attributes, attributes are the set of data objects that fully define the classes within the context of a problem. So here the attributes, they describe a class that has been selected for inclusion in the requirement model. So in essence, it is the attributes that define the classes. So they clarify what is meant by the class in the context of the problem space. So to develop a meaningful set of attributes for an analysis class, we must study each use case and select those things that are responsible and which belong to the class. 
Now coming to the defining an operation. So here the operation defines the behavior of an object through many different types of operations that exist. And they can generally be divided into four broad categories. One is operations that manipulate the data in some way, operations that perform a computation, or operations that inquire about the state of an object and operations that monitor an object for the occurrence of the controlling event. So these functions are accomplished by the operating an attribute or associations and therefore an operation must have knowledge of the nature of the class attributes and uh, its association. As a first iteration at a deriving a set of operations for any analysis class, we can gain a study of processing narrative and select those operations that uh, responsibly belong to the class. So to accomplish this in the grammatical phase, it is again studied and verbs are isolated. So these verbs will be legitimate operations and can be easily connected to an specific class. Now coming to class responsibility collaboration, CRC modeling. So here class responsibility collaborator, CRC modeling, which provides a simple means for identifying and, and organizing the classes that are relevant to the system or a procedure requirements. Here, the purpose of the CRC card is uh, fairly early and uh, to fail often and to fail inexpensively. So it is a lot cheaper to treat up a branch of cards that it would be recognized as a large amount of source code. So here, the Ambler who described the CRC modeling into the following ways. A CRC model is really a collection of standard index cards that represents the classes. These cards are divided into three sections. Along the top of the card, we write the name of the class. In the body of the card, we list the class responsibilities. And on the left, and uh, we write the collaborations on the right. So in reality, the CRC model may make use of the actual or virtual index cards. Here, we can see a class diagram for the floor plan. So here, the responsibilities of the attributes and operations that are relevant for the class, which are stated simply, and a responsibility is anything that the class knows or the class that is going to do it. So here, collaborators are those classes that are required to provide a class with the information that is being needed to complete a responsibility. In general, a collaboration which implies either a request for information or a request for some action to be taken. So a simple CRC index card for the floor plan can be illustrated uh, like this. And the list of responsibilities uh, shown on the CRC card is uh, preliminary and is subjected to the additions or modifications. So here the class wall and camera are noted next to the responsibility that will require their collaborations. Now coming to the classes. So here the taxonomy of the classes type, which selections can be extended by considering the following categories. One is entity class, which is also called as a model or business classes, are extended directly from the statements of the problem. So these classes typically represent the things that are to be stored in a database and represent throughout the duration of the application. And boundary classes are used to create the interfaces that the user sees and interacts with the software that is being used. So here the entity objects, they contain the information that is important to the users, but they do not display themselves. So boundary classes are designed with the responsibility of a managing the way the entire objects are represented to the users. And the third, we have the control classes which manage a unit of work from the start to finish. That is, the control classes can be designed to manage the creation or updation of the entire objects. So here the creation 
or updation of the entire objects can be done the installation of the boundary objects as they obtain the information from the entire objects can be controlled and the complex communication between the sets of objects can be controlled and the validation of data communicated between these objects or between the user and the application is also been controlled so here in general the controller classes are not considered until the design activity has been begun now coming to the responsibilities so here the responsibilities the five guidelines for the for allocating the responsibilities of the class okay one is system intelligence which should be distributed across the classes to the best address the needs for the problem so here every application which encompasses a certain degree of intelligence that is what the system knows and what it can do this intelligence can be distributed across the classes in an number of different ways here the dumb classes can be modified to act as a servants to the few smart classes so to determine whether the system intelligence is properly distributed the responsibilities are noted on each crc model index card and they should be evaluated to determine if any classes has an extraordinarily long list of responsibilities for example we can take aggregation of classes and the second one is each responsibility should be stated as generally as possible so this guidelines implies that the general responsibilities both uh, attributes and operations they should reside high in the class hierarchy and the third is information and the behavior which is related and it should reside within the same class so to achieve this particular object oriented principle which is called as an encapsulation data in the process that manipulates the data should be packaged as a cohesive unit and coming to the fourth responsibility information about one thing should be localized with a single class not distributed across the multiple classes that is a single class should take on the responsibility for storing the manipulating of a specific type of information and this responsibility should not in general be shared across the number of classes if the information is a distributed then the software becomes more difficult to maintain and uh, more challenging to test it and the fifth responsibility is uh, responsibility should be shared among the related classes when appropriate so there are many cases in which the, a variety of related objects must uh, all exhibit the same behavior at the same time now collaborations so here a classless which fulfills their responsibilities in one of the two ways one is a class can use its own operations to manipulate its own attributes thereby fulfilling a particular responsibility or a class can collaborate with other classes to help the identification of collaborators we have to examine their different generic relationship between the classes that is part of the relationship or that has a knowledge of relationship and uh, that depends upon the relationship so when a complete crc model has been developed stakeholders can review the model using the following approaches that is all the participants in the review are given a subset of the crc model index cards that collaboration should be separated and all the use case scenarios corresponding to the use case diagram should be organized into categories and the review leader reads the use cases deliberately and uh, here when the token is passed the holder of the scenario card is asked to describe the responsibility that is been noted on the card and if the responsibilities and collaborations noted on the index card cannot accommodate the use cases then modifications are to be made to the cards so this continuous 
until we use the until the use case is been finished and when all the use cases have been reviewed then the requirement modeling continues sir now coming to association and dependencies in many instances two analysis classes are related to one another in some fashion and must like two other data objects that may be related to one another so in uml these relationships are called associations so in some cases an association may be further defined by identifying multiplicity so here referring to the multiple constraints are illustrated whereas one or more is uh, represented by using one so on and uh, up zero so on so in uml the asterisk indicates an ultimate upper bound of an range so here coming to the analysis package an important pack a part of the analysis modeling is a uh, categorization that is various elements of the analysis model are categorized in the manner that the packages do on grouping which are called as an analysis package that is which is given a representative name for example classes such as tree landscape road wall bridge building and visual effects might fall within this category and others focus on the characteristics within the game which describe their physical features actions and uh, constraints these classes can be grouped in the analysis package like the one that is been shown in this particular figure so here the plus sign preceding the analysis class name in each package indicates that the classes have public visibility and are therefore accessible from other packages although they are not shown in this figure other symbols can be preceded an element within a package for example a minus sign which indicates that an element is hidden from all other packages and a hash symbol which indicates that the element is accessible only to the package which is been contained within the given package thank you for listening with patience thank you everyone if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest notifications thank you one and all